Kia ora whanau, welcome back. So today I'm actually at work and I'm um, starting my little project series on my channel here. And um, well, today we're going to start with a barbecue. Yep, that's alright, a barbecue. So uh, I'm just going to take this oil drum and turn it into a barbecue. <laughs> I didn't come up with the idea myself, I'm just copying some stuff I've seen on YouTube. So none of this is originally my idea, I'm not going to take credit. But uh, this fellow's video. Kurfano se kura tu Henry. So yeah, if I haven't uh, pointed it out already, I'm an engineer by trade, uh, fit a welder. Basically, I glue steel together, and uh, this drum is made out of steel. So I'm just gonna have a tutu and make a barbecue. Sure. Burned off most of the paint. Check this out, Fano. I don't know if you can see it. You might have seen it when it was burning off, but that's actually the Mercedes logo. And it did say Mercedes Benz. There you go. There's the NZ. She's a Mercedes. I'm pretty stoked about that, eh? It's like buying an Apple and finding out you actually got a Samsung. Yeah, you can't use mine. Yeah, yeah I'll use whatever I want. <laughs> now, don't get cut up. It's only a joke. So. Alright, the barrel's cooled down a bit now, cool to the touch, and uh, I'm just going to try and take some more paint off it, try and buff it out a little bit. Alright, we're all done, we got all the paint off. And now we got to cut her open. Cut in half now. I'd like to thank Nutty for helping me measure and uh, mark it out. But there she is for now, Fano. Oh! I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> there we go. My two halves. And uh, we're going to call it a night because it's a bit late and uh, we got school in the morning. <laughs> Kia ora another day of work done and we are back on the barbecue. Now, I've just drawn up some basic uh, fabrication drawings. As you can see here, pretty basic. And I'm cutting up my steel to make our frames for the, the barrel. steel's been cut our barrel has been stripped of its paint and cut in half but it is a bit flimsy it's quite flimsy so uh, I've cut up some reinforcing we're gonna put a frame around each half of the barrel there's gonna be our mating faces that are gonna be touching and uh, just make it a bit more rigid because this is uh, that's no good we've also cut up our steel for some legs and some tables around the outside and a tray under the bottom just because well, you need stuff to put your food if you have a barbecue right and uh, it's time to start putting it all together, so that's cool. Alright, 
All my angle frames are cleaned up. I've given the old barrels a bit of a degrease. Looking a bit better in here. Frames are done. Here's the other half. Now it's time to start putting it together and I'm gonna start with the bottom and I'm gonna get the tray holder sits inside the main frame and then put the drum on top. Put the top one on and ah, just watch, keep going. All right, so what I've done there is I've tacked in the meat shelf holder into the bottom frame. And this is where you'll sit your meat rack. Sure. <laughs> Woohoo, progress. There it is. There's the bottom. A shelf for the meat shelf. Now I've got to put the top on. That's cool. It's all coming together now, Fano. Here she is, top and bottom. And I have my chimney in here, some fold up tables along the front, along the side. Oh, stop it. Love it when a plan comes together. Now I want to get the legs on. There's our bottom half. I'm going to just come into each corner and go onto that frame at the bottom. Alright, my legs are all tacked on square. I'm gonna quickly brace it up. Some braces. Well that out. Hopefully and try and get these hinges on today. And call it a day. Alright. Legs are all welded off. But uh, I'm gonna leave the bracing on for now and uh, just let it cool down naturally and the bracing is going to help hold it square and remove any distortion in the, in the legs so while we, while we wait for the steel to cool down we're going to put our hinges on the back Holes for the hinges are drilled, but uh, our welds have cooled down, so I'm going to cut these off so I'm not throwing grinding sparks all over my stainless hinges. Alright, these hinges are being a bit fiddly for me, and I've had enough for today. But uh, not bad progress for today. It's a lot better than. Uh, what we had when we came here this morning. Yep, yeah, starting to come along, starting to look more like a barbecue. Plenty to do though, so. Stay tuned, Fano, or skip to the end. I usually skip to the end, see what it looks like. But yeah, cheers. All right, so we had a few days off and uh, we're back into the barbecue. I uh, haven't done a hell of a lot more, but I have our hinging on the back. I've lost one of the nuts and the stall's closed at the moment, so I've made it easy. Top one in to put in later, but uh, at the moment, just marked out the holes for my handle, and uh, marked out where the hole's going to be for my thermometer. But yeah, she's hinging mint. Whew. And um, yeah, we'll carry on there. All right, thermometer fitted. Gets up to, uh, what's that, 430 degrees Celsius, but we're not going to be getting that hot. But man, I cannot wait for this to have a handle, because I'm sick of doing that. So let's go ahead and put the handle on. Now for that, I've just got a 32mm Dell Pine from Bunnings. I've got three 10mm, 100 long stainless bolts. I'm going to need to cut me three spaces out of this. All 
All right, while you guys were watching the sun go down, I finished, wham! Handles on, spaced out. I'm not gonna grab it, because I got grabby hands again. The uh, thermometer's on, she's mint. Woo, not bad, good size. Now I need to put on the side tables, and uh, well, you guys don't wanna watch that, so here it is. Let's go! There she is, fine, eh? All right, so they fold down. Uh, I've just got these supporting this corner one because it is a bit flimsy. I'm going to have to get a better hinge for that. But uh, these ones fold down. Just take the arms out, and it would uh, it would drop down. But yeah, goes all right. A couple of trees for your meat. Hang your spatula or whatever off here. Oh, my hands are grubby. But check that out. Alright, well, I'm going to call it a night, because uh, it's actually 9 o'clock. People are going to start thinking I am uh, need a piss in a cup. Alright, sure. Kia ora we are back in business. Now today I'm going to be cutting up my little side tables. And uh, I don't like the hinging on the corner table, it's a bit too flimsy for me. Um, so we're going we're gonna to swap that out and uh, find a way to secure it to our main table so that this corner table is more secure. Woo, boy, it's getting late. I've had enough for today. And, uh, but we've got our tables on, we've got our wood on, so we'll have a look here. All right, there it is. Portable tables, so we're hinging at the joint, and uh, there's your hinge. This corner one here is actually held on one with the hinge, but two with a magnet. So if I just boom, so that's pretty cool. But uh, we'll call it a day. Nah, you want to see what it looks like up? Ready? And this is what it looks like with the tables up. Now we got a split pin in there, just as our retainer, so we can't slide off, our supports can't slide off. For our corner table, we got two dead bolts holding it in place. There's your magnet we talked about, and the connection. And uh, yeah, so there's our tables. Sturdy, solid, sweet, minta. Look inside, we still haven't made our rack, we've still got a bit more to do, Fano. But uh, stay tuned, I'm sure the end product should be beautiful. Alright guys, it's another day on the barbecue. Uh, I've been here all morning actually, just prepping a few bits and pieces, but what I want to get done today is... I'm looking at putting some wheels this end of the barbecue, just attach it to the frame here, and a handle on this end. So we can lift our barbecue up just for ease of getting around um, put the handle here so we're not getting in the way of our tables and also our wheels won't be in the way of anything either we also need to get our meat racks done now if you're gonna have a barbecue you gotta have something to put your meat on so that's why i've left this shoulder so we can set our rack in here i'm gonna fabricate that today oh, mind my voice i'm not feeling the greatest at the moment but um we also want to run a bit of checker plate along the bottom, six more checker plate, that's going to help absorb some of the heat from the coals. We also need to cut out our vent out the side here, just some vent holes and have a, a sliding mechanism, just linear motion, to open and close the vent. Oh man, it's the middle of winter, it's not very warm in here, and I'm not feeling the greatest, you can probably hear it, but um, like I said I've been here all morning doing this. Here we have our pre-cut bits and pieces for our frames for the meat rack also for the meat rack we're going to be cutting out some sections out of this mesh to sit in the middle to put our meat on like I said I've got the wheels and the handle now the wheel setup assembly is pretty straightforward washer either side and a bolt that will be welded to the frame and act as our wheel we've also got our handle here cut as we need it. Now this was outside in the scrap. Fortunately for me, it's pretty much the size I was after. I've had to gillow one end down, but 
we'll clean that up and we'll put that on the bottom. I've also cut this plate out this morning, skillowed it to size, punched some holes out. Now what I'm going to do next is just run the grinder up to give us our vents. One, two, three, four, and five vents. This hole here, plug out a bit of rod in there and cut it to length. That's going to protrude out past the outside of the barrel. So this plate will be inside and this will be able to slide left to right to open and close our vent. So all the prep's pretty much done and we're going to go ahead and get into the fabrication side of things. So let's get into it. All right, so we got our bottom frame in position. Got our clamps holding it all in place. So we're going to go through and tack it to the profile of the shoulder. So it'll be mint every time. Got quite a bit done. We chucked our handle on this side. It's looking pretty good. And down here, <laughs> down here we got our wheels on. Simple uh, bolt assembly. Nothing too flash. So now when we pick it up, we can wheel it around. Can't see me moving. She's a bit heavy. Um, oh, I'm showing you guys the chimney. Did that uh, another day. Just to weld the socket into a nice elbow that I found hanging out. And our meat rack is done. All right. So these are our two frames, top and bottom, some standoff legs, bit of mesh, top and bottom. And we've got handles to pull it out when we need to. Chur. So now the next step for me is to clean up this bit of chicken plate, give it a quick buff, throw that in the bottom, and that's going to absorb some of our heat so we don't go melting the drum. Not that it should get that hot anyway, but just in case. And cut our vent out. Alright, our chicken plate's in, tacked into place. And there's our vent, and that's going to sit on the inside. We need to make up some mounts, sit it on there, and there should be a mirror image out here. So we're going to go and draw that on and cut that out. Ah, and there it is. Oh, easy little vent. Just gonna have our rod poking out here, and we've just got our adjustment left to right to open and close our vent. Now I'm just making up a little cage, another simple little setup to hold our vent in place inside. All right, the bloody vent's in. She's working, mint. There it is, Fano. She's closed. Oh, now she's open. There's our airflow coming in. Heat our coals. Heat our meat. Heat our tucker, fill our bellies, put on weight, all good. That's us. That it's been a long day and I've had enough, so I'm going home. Chur. All right, back again. Now today I just threw a quick extension on our little chimney and now I need to make up a little cap to go over the top. That way we can manipulate how much heat's coming out and control our temperature. All right. There she is, extension on there, and there's our heat control so we can let all the heat up, let a little bit up, let it heat up, close it off, boom. Also threw a couple of chain links on there, probably should have got the galvanizing off the chain links, but hey, they're on, they're strong. What that's going to be is we're going to put a string in here once it's painted, so that when it's open, that string will go between and hold it. I've also just threw this little hatch in there. Don't look too close, it's not that flash, but it's gonna be, oh, well that's basically gonna act as a little dump to get all the crap out of here if we need to. And then when we're cooking, just close them up. 
All right, I think I'm pretty much done on the Barbie. Uh, it's just a bit more of a cleanup and a paint job. We just got the CRC fire paint just for the outside. We're not going to be painting the inside, obviously. And uh, set in black, good for what's that? 650 degrees. That's going to do the trick for the outside. But here we go, quick tidy up and paint job. Kia ora whanau. just a quick thank you for stopping in, thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you liked the barbecue, makes a pretty good feed, not gonna lie, not gonna lie, it's definitely the operator, not the tools, mm. but um, yeah, just thanks for stopping in, make sure you hit that subscribe button, because this was my last video of 2020, um, hit the little notification bell so you don't miss a thing, because there is heaps of new content coming in 2021, um, plenty of video to get through, but yeah, I hope you enjoy, I hope you have a safe uh, Christmas and New Year's, and we will see you in 2021. Peace. Uh, basically, I'm fit about it, if you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, if I haven't stated it already, I'm a... Yeah.